Sample rate is one of those settings in your DAW that can be tricky to get your head around, especially as there's so much wildly varying information out there on the subject. In this video, I'm gonna demystify sample rates, debunk some of the myths, and tell you exactly which sample rate you should be using in your home recordings. Hey everyone, Joe here. First off, I'm gonna briefly and simply explain exactly what sample rate is. Whenever we record audio, it starts off as an analog signal. Whether that audio is coming from a guitar or from the signal from your microphone, it's all analog. Now for your computer to be able to understand that audio signal, it needs to be converted into a digital signal, which is normally a, a job for your audio interface. During this process, lots of samples or snapshots of the audio are taken, and those snapshots are taken so fast that the audio can be represented in full on the digital system. The sample rate is how many of those snapshots are taken of the audio every second. For example, the sample rate 44.1 kilohertz would be taking 44,100 snapshots per second of the audio. But how does it actually affect the audio? The more samples, the better, right? Well, yes and no. It's true that the more samples of the audio taken, so the higher the sample rate, the more accurate the representation of the audio is on your computer. But once you've hit a certain number of samples per second, humans generally can't tell the difference. According to the Nyquist sampling theorem, a sample rate of double the audible frequency spectrum is enough to perfectly reproduce the original audio. Now the audible frequency spectrum goes up to about 20,000 hertz at best, although in reality most humans can't hear at the very top of that. So 44.1 kilohertz being over double that is more than enough to accurately represent the signal. That's why 44.1 kilohertz is the industry standard for CD audio. If you're wondering what that extra 4.1 kilohertz is for, it's because when the signal is converted, frequencies over the audible spectrum are filtered out with a low pass filter. So that extra 4.1 kilohertz gives it a kind of buffer so it doesn't affect the very top end of the spectrum. Why do people use higher sampling rates then, like 48 kilohertz or 96 or higher? Some engineers claim that they can hear the difference, that the higher sample rates give a cleaner or warmer sound than the lower sample rates. Now I'm not sure if this is the case for everyone who claims it, especially as a result of just a sample rate change. But there are so many other factors that could be involved that could be changing the experience for the listener. Their converters could do a better job of converting at higher sample rates. The specific plugins that they use might work better on, on audio of higher sample rates. They might be a dog, or it could just be the good old fashioned placebo effect. It's very difficult to know as there are so many variables outside the science of the Nyquist theorem. The issue is that when an engineer recommends a particular sample rate based on their personal experiences in their studio, you might find that it doesn't translate the same uh, to you, to your ears and in your studio. Ultimately though, even those differences that some claim to hear are gonna be negligible at best, especially when, it's been, when your audio has been downsampled to 44.1, uh, for CD and play back through a streaming service or sound system that's going to affect the audio further. So which sample rate should you pick? I've seen a lot of engineers compare audio sample rate to video frame rate and I get that it makes it easier to understand the concept behind it but in reality they're nothing alike and it's just misleading. The perceivable difference between different standard video frame rates, for example 25 fr frames per second often used in cinema or 60 frames per second that many video games run at is staggering. Like for, for the vast majority of users they are going to see a significant improvement in the experience and in the smoothness. This isn't the case when comparing audio sample rates though. In theory, 44.1 kHz perfectly represents the audio. That's not the case with video frame rate standards that we have today. It's not a particularly helpful comparison and it's misleading. And some suggest recording at sample rates of 96 kHz or higher for future proofing reasons, that perhaps in the future a higher sample rate will become standard and your old recordings will become redundant. But these higher sample rates take up way more CPU power way more hard disk space, and all just for a just-in-case type of scenario. And upsampling exists. And, and think about it, all those old tape recordings, those classic recordings back in the day, have they been lost to the ages? No, they're being remastered, re-released, uh, and they still sound great. And that's why for recording music or dialogue at home, I recommend recording at 44.1 kilohertz. 
kilohertz. If you're recording for film or TV, you will need to use 48 kilohertz, just because that's the industry standard. Um, and some sound designers may need to go higher than that if they do a lot of time stretching and pitch shifting and things like that. But if you're just recording for CD and for streaming, recording your music, then 44.1 is absolutely fine. It's the sample rate needed to accurately represent the entire frequency spectrum. And in 99.9 .9 cases, nobody's gonna notice the difference. Ultimately, it's something you don't wanna have to worry about. At 44.1 kilohertz, your system's gonna run smoother, you're not gonna be encountering any compatibility issues. The tiniest of recording and mixing decisions will affect your audio far more than any higher sample rate would. So just focus on the production. One last point before I go. I've seen some engineers suggest that you should use higher sample rates just to attract customers. Now if you, have a if you take clients and you have a, a, a client that asks specifically for a higher sample rate, then if your system supports it, go ahead. But the vast majority of clients aren't gonna know and they aren't gonna care. They just want a quality product. And advertising sample rates is redundant in my opinion. It's not something that's gonna win you or lose you clients. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you agree or disagree, let me know below in the comments. Let me know what sample rate you record at. And if you want more recording tips and advice just like this, then hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.